All right, boys, so check out who just made it here. Six Trey Wayne. Trey Wayne. Guys, so basically, this is the stupid challenge we're recording at my house today. It's about to go down. Let's get it. You already know what it is. Let's do this. All this materialistic don't mean shit in the world. They do anything for clout. It's true. Nowadays, artists really will do anything for clout. It's unfortunate, but we live in a time where people would rather 1 million Instagram followers than 1 million dollars. With the hip-hop industry now focusing on up-and-coming artists with a large social media presence, rather than necessarily looking for talent, the importance of clout is at an all-time high. And with that being said, it's one thing to attain this level of influence and fame, but staying relevant once you get it, that's a whole nother story. Yo, what the f did I fall off of? Like I'm lit, like... I'm lit. See, guys such as Fetty Wap have already suffered from some of the side effects that derive from a clout chasing culture, where you can blow up just as fast as you can fall off. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the true impact of clout on the rap game and how it has already affected so many of our favorite artists. Is clout chasing worth it? No. Nah. Is it dangerous? Yeah. So what exactly is clout? I'm sure you guys have heard the word being used at least a few times over the past three to four years, especially in the hip hop community. According to the trusted uh, Urban Dictionary, it is a cancerous word only said by edgy 13 year olds who listen to way too much rap. <laughs> Even if there is some truth to that statement, I would define it as a level of fame and influence a person has online, AKA how many followers you have on social media. I wanna make it clear that I have nothing against the term and social media in general. In fact, I can honestly say I love apps such as Instagram and YouTube. And my dream job is creating content online like this for a living, which hence requires a certain amount of clout. But I can also see the downfalls that come with this type of lifestyle and how it has already impacted the hip hop world as we know it. Bobby, yo, listen, we gonna talk some you ready? Let's start off by looking at the rise and fall of Fetty Wap as an example, since I already touched on it a second ago. With the vast amount of content and music being produced on a daily basis, artists nowadays have to put out more music than ever and go to extreme lengths in terms of their online persona in order to stay relevant. Unless, of course, your name is Kendrick Lamar or Lil Uzi Vert, where you've already built such a loyal fan base that you've earned the luxury of being able to drop music every two to three years. However, for the majority of new rap stars like Fetty Wap, who rose to the top very quickly from a hit songs such as Trap Queen, it is mandatory. With social media, it is much easier to go viral with a song, whether it's from a catchy lyric or a subsequent dance challenge. Therefore, artists are blowing up what seems like overnight and racking up millions of new followers in the process. The problem with this sudden clout, however, is that people are only really attached to that song rather than the artist. So when they follow up with a new track or project and it isn't quite what the listeners are expecting, the so-called fans are quick to jump ship and hop on the wave of the next bubbling artist. So although you may have 5.2 million Instagram followers doesn't mean you have 5.2 million actual supporters. I feel like this could really mess with the mindset of an artist because their expectations of success are inflated to a point that cannot realistically be attained anymore. Also, they get a taste of the money and the lifestyle that comes with this short-lived success, so when they fall off, it's often the case that rappers feel the need to clout chase as a way to gain relevancy again. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is what we finna do today. I need, I need 40k people in here right now, and, 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 and I'll drink oil. I'm drinking straight up the gallon. <laughs> okay, obviously this isn't always what happens, and not everyone's out here drinking motor oil. As we have seen guys like Lil Nas X have a hit record and successfully carry forward with new music and actually leverage his clout in a good way. By the use of memes on popular platforms such as Twitter and TikTok, he was able to create one of the most successful commercial songs of all time and also stay relevant in the industry afterwards. See, social media has allowed artists such as himself a chance to make a name for themselves and get their foot in the door without the help of a traditional label. Personally, I think this is really cool because it allows so many more artists to create music for a living that would have never been able to if it wasn't for social media and clout. Can a rapper though be successful from clout chasing? Yeah, it's entertainment. 
It's the entertainment business. And the internet is making it more lit. People like John Legend is not to the full exposure that they need. You know what I'm saying? Because there's somebody that to do something stupid on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like It used to be the case that the quality of your song or rapping ability would set you apart from the rest. Although top talent still breaks through in hip hop, it really is a popularity contest rather than a talent show in 2019. By this, I mean the artist with the most followers and eyes on their content is probably going to be signed over the more talented artist with a much smaller following. A prime example of this is is bad baby signing to Atlantic Records. If she had never been on the Dr. Phil show and never had clout, there's no way in hell she was ever getting signed. I mean, Gucci flip-flops low-key goes hard, but other than that, she is not a good rapper. Another good example is the king of YouTube diss tracks, Rice Gum. With over 10 million subscribers, his clout levels are quite high. This allowed him to become the first YouTuber with a platinum, yes, platinum hip hop record with his song It's Every Night Sis featuring fellow YouTube star Alyssa Violet. This song also broke through onto the Billboard Hot 100 charts and in all seriousness peaked higher than most rappers ever will. I never thought I would reference designer as a man of wisdom but he was so right in that interview. Cloud has really helped turn the music business into a strictly entertainment business. Trayway. It's sad to see clout get to an artist's head and influence their decision making. I'm sure you guys are all caught up on the 6 9 situation and his legal troubles, which by the way, I cannot believe we might be hearing new 6 9 music soon after everything that happened. But anyways, he is a prime case of an artist that thrived on the clout chasing culture that we are currently living in. Back in 2018, when he was the most discussed figure in rap, he was all over the internet. Whether it was in vlogs as seen in the beginning of this video, interviews, music videos, Instagram stories, you couldn't open social media without seeing his face pop up. He was a genius in the sense that he knew how to capture people's attention online, which led to him gaining significant clout in a short period of time. He would do this through beefing with guys like Trippy Red on Instagram, making dance videos such as the Stupid Challenge, or even uploading silly videos like this one. This then translated to extreme success with his music and pretty much every one of his songs going viral. However, the way he rose to fame was new to a lot of the old heads in rap, which led to a lot of hate and jealousy within the hip-hop community. But little did 6 9 no, that'd be the least of his worries. And now for the news, Brooklyn rapper Takashi 69 is in federal custody facing racketeering and firearms charges. This is where the downside of clout culture really comes into play. 6ix9ine pushed it too far and knew he had a formula and a blueprint that worked with the gangster persona he had in his videos and what he was portraying online. When in reality, he never really was a gangster. He was just acting because he knew that's what people wanted to see. But over time, it got to a point where the lines were blurred and he reached a point of no return. I believe this is the main problem with how clout has influenced rap. To stand out from the rest, artists are doing crazy stunts and becoming someone they're not. I have no problem with the music aspect as I'm a huge fan of guys like 6 9 but I hate to see situations where rappers are putting their lives at risk in order to gain clout, which will help them stay relevant. I think the main point I'm trying to get across in this video is that clout has really changed the rap game for better and for worse. Social media platforms allow artists a chance to blow up and make a living doing something they love, creating their own fan bases from the ground up. But if you let the followers and lifestyle control you, it can only lead to artists putting themselves at risk, both mentally and physically. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the current clout culture in rap and whether you agree or disagree with the points I made in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Marvelous Beats. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.